I'm Roger Baker, Executive Director of the Stratfor Center for Applied Geopolitics at RAIN, a global center of excellence for geopolitical intelligence and analysis. Learn how you can put geopolitics to work for your organization at RAINnetwork.com. Welcome to RAIN's Essential Geopolitics Podcast. I'm Emma Kami, and I'll be your host for today's episode. Scores of Hamas militants broke through Israel Defense Forces barriers around the Gaza Strip on October 7th, overwhelming border posts and capturing the IDF base at Reim, which houses the headquarters of the Gaza Division. I'm joined by RAIN's Global Security Analyst Charles Thorson to discuss what we know about the recent Hamas terrorist attacks on Israel from Gaza and the possible ramifications. Welcome to the podcast, Charlie. Thank you for having me. Can you give us a breakdown of the recent Hamas attacks on Israel? Sure. Uh, so recently, so on October 7th, uh, a, a, a number of Hamas militants, believed to be as many as 1,500, uh, crossed the border from Gaza into Israel and randomly attacked Israeli uh, towns and settlements uh, in in Israel, including uh, including a rock music festival uh, in Israel. Uh, right now, the death toll stands at 1,200 Israelis, but uh, right now Hamas rocket attacks are still ongoing, so the death toll is likely to continue rising. Uh, meanwhile, um, at least a thousand uh, Palestinians have been killed in retaliatory Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. And the Israelis have called up 300,000 reserves in anticipation of a likely ground offensive into Gaza to deal with Hamas. How has and will Israel respond to these attacks most likely? Well, as I, as I mentioned, there's, there's likely going to be a ground incursion into Gaza. Uh, Israel has made it fairly clear that they want to deal a strategic blow to Hamas's military capabilities. And so that there's very little way to do that from the air. It has to be done via a ground invasion. Uh, complicating Israel's response, the Hamas militants took at least 150 hostages with them into Gaza during their October 7th attack. So Israel also has to uh, consider the lives of the hostages in, in its response. So it's an incredibly complex and still very fluid situation. Will the Israel-Hamas conflict be contained? And what are the chances of escalation and broader regional implications? I know other countries are already getting involved. Well, so far it looks like, it, it, it's looking like it, it there's a, um, it, I'd say it's about an even chance whether the conflict stays contained. Um, right now there are uh, also, in addition to uh, repeated Hamas, ongoing Hamas rocket attacks from Gaza, there are also a report. There are also frequent uh, rocket launches by Palestinian militant groups and Hezbollah militants in Lebanon. So there is a, a, a possibility. I would, wouldn't call it a likelihood, but there is a, a, a growing possibility of uh, this becoming a two-front engagement for Israel, uh, as far as it potentially turning into a, a two-front conflict with Israel fighting both militants in Gaza and in Lebanon. Uh, which would uh, which would cause um, which would be basically turn into a regional war at that point. Well, so Charlie, is there any kind of outlook you can offer for us? I know there's not a lot that we know, but for um, people who obviously are concerned about the area or businesses who have um, interest in the region, can you um, give them a little bit of uh, kind of uh, your your take on what is likely to happen and, and a bit of an overview of where you think this could go, broadly speaking? Sure. I think for the, 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 the certainty outlook is um, that the security situation in Israel is going to be uh, critical in terms of a, a critical terrorist and other war and insurgency threat for the coming weeks as, uh, Israel, as Israel's uh, operations in Gaza continue and pre most likely expand. Um, and the threat from northern uh, Israel, well, threat from Lebanon rather, into northern Israel will also remain heightened for at least the next week as Israeli and 
Lebanese or Israeli and clash is Israeli Hezbollah clashes continue. Um, that's the most likely outlook at this point. Thanks, Charlie, for coming on the podcast and sharing your analysis. You can access our existing analysis on this as well on our worldview and other risk intelligence products. Our flagship risk intelligence products provide clients with access to the insights and analyses they need to make more informed decisions and drive better risk management outcomes. Sign up at rainnetwork.com. That's R-A-N-E network.com. I'm Emma Kami. Thanks for listening.